in this video we are going to understand the position value of the alphabets also we will understand the opposite values of the alphabet hello my awesome students welcome to my channel akshar i am nena and i make videos related to short tricks of the mathematics so let's start with our today's topic which is how to remember the position of the alphabets in a to z these questions are going to help you in your reasoning part in any competitive exam right so everyone knows the position from a to d that the position value of a to d is what 1 2 3 and 4 means a is at first position b is at second position c is at third and d is at fourth position okay so i think that there is no trick required because everyone knows the position value of a b c and d let's talk another values now what is that this is let's just remember this word which is ejoti ejoti is what the words the alphabets at the multiple of 10 the position which is at the multiple of 10 at those positions these alphabets are present means e is at fifth position j is at 10th position similarly o is at 15th position and t is at 20th and y is at 25th position so where are they present ejoti ejoti means they are present at the multiple of 5 right next next is my f f f with the f word you can remember that f is what f is fix or 6 so simply we can remember that f is present at the sixth position in the alphabets so coming to g g is what you know that there are g7 nations so you can simply remember with this trick that g is present at the seventh position in the alphabets right next is h h is present at the eighth position if i am going to write down h like this and i am going to join upper and lower lines of the eight so what i will get i will get the number in mathematics as eight so join upper and lower lines of h so i will get that number as eight so that means h is present at eighth position right next is i i is what like in cursive handwriting we write i like this okay so it is somewhat similar to the mathematical word nine so in in cursive writing we can so with the cursive writing we can remember the value of i with the position of the i is equal to what this is the position of i is equal to nine right now next is j j we have already remembered with this trick ejoti means j is present at 10th position okay no need to remember it again next coming to k k is what k is my kelvin with the word kelvin we can remember that kelvin or 11 right these are somewhat similar so kelvin or 11 means k is present at the 11th position in the alpha bets from a to z so next l l is what l is somewhat sound when we will call 12 12 or l l or 12 you can remember that l and 12 so l is present at which position l is present at 12th position so pronunciation is approximately similar l 12 l and at the last we are getting the sound of l l right so that means l is present at the 12th position right next coming to the m m is what m is the 13 so m is very simple to remember because everyone knows that m is the middle alphabet of the a to z so there are total 26 alphabet so m will be present at what 26 by 2 means m is present at the 13th position okay so n n and 14 how you can remember we all know chacha nehru and they love children so their birthday is celebrated on what their birthday is celebrated on 14th november so we can remember with this trick that 14th november is celebrated as the children's day so that means 
n value position of n will be what position of n is my 14 right next o o we have already remembered with the trick of ejotti means o will come at the 15th position right so coming to the next p and q we can learn them together that pq comes at the position of 16 and 17 right pq 16 17 pq 16 17 you can run it together right so it will be easier for you to learn it right so now next is r is r again as we have learned l as 12 and then r r we will learn it in hindi which is at Athara, Athara is what? Athara. The sound of R is coming at the last. So that means R is present at which position? R is present at 18th position. Okay. So now S is present as at 19th position, which we can remember with the trick unisys. So we can see that this S is coming. So we can remember with this trick unisys that position of s is what position of s is my 19 again t t we have remembered with the ejotti value this will be fifth position this will be 10th position o is at 15th position and t is at 20th position so now coming to the u u is my 21 so we know that united states of america we all know united states of america has 21 as 21 states so that means the united states of america means u is at 21th position okay these are just the tricks to remember the value no logic is there just the simple tricks to remember the position value next v v is present at 22 so if i am going to represent my victory so how i will represent i will represent it with the two fingers right so two fingers are used to represent what to represent the victory so that means two fingers means we can say that these are 22 with the victory v victory and two fingers are used that means this is at 22nd position so for the last four values w x y and z as we have remembered our starting four values the position is one two three and four so we can remember the last four values also last four positions also that w is 23 x is 24 y is 25 and z is 26 so also there is no trick required because these are the simple values which we can remember or even we know them in advance also okay so let's talk about the opposites also in this video so how to remember the opposite of the alpha bets right so a is opposite is z it's very simple to remember everyone knows that opposite means that if it is coming at the first position from the starting then from the last what alphabet is present at the last at the last position okay if b is present at the second position from the starting then which alphabet is present at the second position from the last right so that means opposite value so b and y we can remember some values that b and y is what this is y so b and y are opposite to each other next is what next is my c and x you know that there are some chips for the kids which are that cracks c and x so c and x are opposite to each other next d and w the cold drink we all know about this cold drink that dew dew is what d and w are opposite to each other next e and v e and v is what e and v is my evening so evening is what e and v next f and u f and u is what this is my flu okay so now f and u are also opposite to each other next is what next is my g and t do you know that there is a gst right on the goods we purchase so what it is g and t are opposite to 
each other you can make your own words also you do not need to cram these words only but if you think that some other simple words are possible for you then you can use those words also right so this is just a hint that you can use these tricks which i have made in advance for you so h and s are how you can remember h and s h and s are his his with the his value that h and s are opposite to each other next is i r i r is what we can say that this is indian railway okay so indian railway i and r right next is what next is my j and q j and q is what you know that in the cards we play there are 52 cards and in those 52 cards there are few cards of jack and queen also so you can remember with this trick that jack and queen are opposite to each other next is k and p with the value with the movie we uh, the most popular movie is pk movie right so you can remember k and p are opposite to each other with this trick that pk movie next is what next is suppose my l o l o is what l o is owl which wakes up at the night right so m and n the last last is what m and n is what this is men so m and n okay if you find my video useful for you then please do like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more updates of my new videos so let's meet in the next video in which we are going to understand some more tricks of vedic maths till then take care and bye bye